in this video so before that we'll start with what is correlation and then we'll uh, move on to what is linear regression okay so first correlation is what we use to measure the uh, strength of relationship between two uh, variables okay and Pearson correlation coefficient is used as one of the uh, you know many uh, statistics to understand the, the strength of the relationship so correlation measures the strength of linear relationship and we'll talk about what is linear relationship and non-linear relationship later in this in, in this lecture so uh, it is unitless that means irrespective of which variable that you are for which you are measuring correlation um, it it hasn't it doesn't have any uh, you know unit that means if you want you know correlation between uh, two different weights or two different you know lengths or you know volume or anything uh, irrespective of the unit you will have uh, a comparable correlation and it lies between minus one to one the closer it is to minus one the stronger the negative linear relationship the closer it is to one the stronger is the positive linear relationship now for correlation we will go to linear regression okay so the correlation measures the uh, linear relationship between two variables linear regression also does more or less the same thing but there are many additional things that you can do with linear regression that you cannot do with correlation so here is what we uh, mean by what is the linear relationship and what is non-linear relationship the strength of relationship and so on the first graph just be the correlation is minus one there is a strong negative relationship so the uh, line that passes through the dot points between x and y so we're trying to measure the correlation between x and y which are two variables and it is negative sloping right it is downward sloping okay so that's a perfect correlation but it is a negative correlation look at go to the right okay and see the second graph again the same it the relationship is negative but the strength of relationship is somewhat less if you see the line that passes through this point it is not like the first one where you know it is passing through all the data points but here it is not the case it is not passing through all the data points go to the third one here the regression uh, the linear uh, correlation is zero that means there is no correlation between x and y if you change x there is no change in y okay so that's no correlation okay go to the fourth one the one here the one i'm showing the cursor so here we have again much like the first one it is also the same strong correlation and the correlation coefficient is one but it is upward sloping so it's a positive relationship x x goes up so does y go to the next this is again positive correlation but the strength is uh, less but the last one is again with no correlation so this is typically the case of a linear relationship between two variables and that's how that you can measure by correlation coefficient all right so we'll try to understand now the linear relationship and curvy linear relationship or you know in some sense in loose loosely we can say that non-linear relationship the first one you can see there's a straight line that that can be drawn uh, or there is a you know very clear upward trend which can be depicted in a straight line but if you go right you see you know if first there is a upward trend and there is a downward trend it is not linear because it is changing the path and we can not fit a linear line rather we have to fit a curve so that is non-linear or curvy linear similarly third one again it is linear downward sloping but linear fourth one non-linear because it's not a straight line that actually can pass through these data points it has to be a curve and that's why it is curvy linear so this is the difference between linear relationship and curvy linear relationship now remember correlation is the linear relationship between two uh, variables okay Pearson coefficient in particular is the measure of linear relationship between two variables x and y not the non-linear curvy linear relationship that we can see right side of this graph the two graphs on the right sides and not something that 
can be measured using uh, correlation coefficient such as PS correlation coefficient. Now there could be strong relationship and weak relationship. Okay. If the data points are closer to each other, there seems to be a strong relationship, but they are farther away, is it? Uh, the relationship is, is somewhat uh, weak. Okay. So you can see the first one. The first one it is strong because the close one. You go to the right. The first you know, in the left, the two uh, graphs on the left, the the the, the cases where we have strong relationship, but the ones on the right, you see there is you know uh, seems to be a weak relationship. No relationship. Cases where you know uh, you know x doesn't I and mean, y doesn't increase with respect to x or x doesn't increase with respect to y. Such is the case where you know there is no relationship. Uh, there is also cases where you know the data points like parallel to either x axis or parallel to either y axis if that's the case even those situations we can say that you know uh, the linear correlation is zero so there is no real linear correlation as such we can calculate um, Uh, we can calculate correlations if, of course by using the formula of course most of this um, most of this um, modern softwares have their own function that can you know, calculate uh, the correlation for us but we certainly can calculate by ourselves as well even you know, the, the formula and you can also have um, you know, distribution of a correlation uh, with, with standard error and we'll talk more about it later in this lecture as to what the standard error is and you know what how, how does it help us okay so here is a bit of a linear regression linear regression takes the you know more of some concepts or rather some basic um, motivation for correlation it also tries to find out relationship between two or more variables okay while Correlation is more most of the times uh, between two uh, variables. Um, I mean, uh, at least the um, at least the popular ones. Linear regression, on the other hand, can include uh, more than two variables. Okay. Secondly, in linear relationship, uh, in linear regression, you have a dependent variable and you could have a set of independent variables. And we'll talk about what dependent and independent variables are. There's no such concept in in correlation. Uh, in correlation, uh, we cannot measure as to if x goes up by 5%, what is going to be the corresponding increase in y. That cannot be measured in uh, correlation, but we can measure this in, 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 in regression, in linear regression. So, um, you know, given a value of x, you can predict the value of y, which is, you know, another variable related to x using linear regression, but you can't do that using correlation. That's another weakness of correlation, and that's why degre linear regression actually helps uh, you know, uh, do a lot of things that correlation can do. So here is an uh, example. Um, so a regression line, basically, I mean, just just to uh, just to you know understand more of a layman language, a regression line is basically a straight line. And if you know your basic ma uh, your school mathematics. A basic uh, linear line um, can be represented at y equal to mx plus a b, where b is your um, intercept and m is your slope coefficient. In the slope, slope of the line. Slope of the line is nothing but you know take uh, the angle that uh, it has with x-axis, take the tan of that angle, tangent of that angle, you know, and that's nothing but your slope. And the intercept is just that where it cuts the y-axis you know just measure the distance from the origin that's your um, intercept okay and you can represent that with y equals mx plus b and then you know given the value of x and of course you need to know what m and b are and we'll use that as an estimation process from the data and given the value of x you'll be able to predict the value of y okay so it it, it helps in predicting particular variable given another variable okay in technical terms what is a slope a slope 
uh, is it's just a means that if there is a one unit change in x what is the corresponding change in y okay so which is like delta y divided by delta x okay and that's what slope slope is okay, okay. so what is it used for well, i have already said that to you uh, linear regression is basically used for prediction and also used to know relationship between y and x of course in correlation also you can know the relationship but then you cannot know if x increases by one unit what is going to be the increase in y you also get to know whether there is a negative relationship positive relationship just by looking at the coefficients the value of m which is the slope coefficient if it's negative then there's a negative relationship it is positive there is a positive relationship okay. 